Well, President Biden says Ukraine is not ready to become a member of NATO. In a recent CNN interview, the president said he doesn't think there's agreement about granting Ukraine membership in the middle of a war. Quote, if the war is going on, then we're all in a war with Russia. We'd like to welcome Yevrenia Kruvchuk. She's a member of parliament in Ukraine. Wonderful to have you. So first, the Kremlin. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Thank you for being here. The Kremlin spokesman says Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Wagner's leader Prigozhin five days after his failed mutiny. How concerned are you about the Wagner group in the future? Well, uh, Wagner Group is uh, uh, definitely a terrorist organization, and Russia uh, that is sponsoring Wagner Group officially from uh, its budget uh, is a state sponsoring terrorism. Uh, and um, uh, of course, I would say the uh, the best days of Wagner Group uh, in the uh, war uh, of Russia against Ukraine, uh, I would say, are um, in the past because they lost a lot of soldiers. And now they are uh, trying to regroup in Belarus. Uh, Belarus but uh, it, the numbers are much less. And actually, the uh, Russian Minister of Defense is trying to recruit uh, uh, Wagner um, uh, group uh, soldiers. Well, I can't really name them soldiers because they are actually convicts taken from prisons uh, for murders, for uh, rapes and uh, other uh, very serious uh, crimes. Um, but of course, we will be following what they do because uh, staying in Belarus means that they can threaten other countries in the regions, which are Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, uh, uh, Estonia, and uh, Poland, because Belarus borders uh, with most of these countries. All right. And we'd like to get your reaction to President Biden's comments saying Ukraine is not ready for NATO membership. What's your take? Uh, well, uh, Ukraine uh, uh, was not expecting to be included in NATO or, or grant uh, NATO membership tomorrow during the summit of Vilnius. Uh, of course, we understand that the war uh, is in the, in the very hot phase. But uh, we would like to have more clarity uh, than just repeating the words that we heard in 2008 uh, when NATO said that the doors are opened and Ukraine might be a member of NATO later on. We want to hear some uh, information you know, some clarification about security guarantees uh, that uh, Ukraine might have before actually uh, joining NATO later. And of course, I think it's uh, worth mentioning that um, um, if Ukraine, when Ukraine becomes a uh, NATO member later on, I cannot tell, of course, uh, the, the time, but it will strengthen the security in the whole region. Because what happens when, uh, you know, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, uh, Estonia, uh, other countries that are close in Eastern Europe are feeling uh, threatened. So they ask for more uh, deployment of American troops. But if Ukraine will be a, a NATO member, our troops will be um, actually, you know, securing uh, the, the, the and, and will be, uh, you know, the first uh, country that will face Russia if it, you know, ever wants to attack any of the other countries. But of course, now uh, our primary goal is to win this um, this war with Russia. So that's why we're expecting some uh, packages of military help announced in Vilnius. But our ultimate goal is to join NATO. And we have 89% of Ukrainians that are in favor of joining NATO right now. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your perspective. Thank you. Yevrenia Krovchik. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.